this match that you had so long ago is still in so many wrestling fans' minds. It's become this kind of cult classic that people want to check out. How is that for you? Well, at first it's like uh, a lot of fun and it's exciting, but then it uh, brings back different recollections about it and all the things that were going on in the time at the time. And in a way, it brings up as many uh, questions in your mind, uh, reminiscing back, as it answers things that you already knew when you get to see the match. So th it's good, and I'm really stoked about it. It was great to be out there with Brett. But it also has me remembering back and trying to characterize it all in a meaningful way in my own, in my own mind and my own recollection. It's and great. Is, is that one of your favorite matches that you had, the match with Brett? I think so, yeah, definitely. Because it was a very early match for me. Uh, I had another match with Brett, actually, uh, later on. Um, and I did have some, of course, I was wrestling for five years. So I had m other matches that I, I really liked. But that was, that was kind of the, um, the uh, iconic match because of the, everyone else who was there. There was so much going on at that particular um, television uh, and so many big personalities present uh, that that frames the actual match uh, and so and I remember all that because to me it's the, the match felt great while I was doing it but also everything going on before and after was these intense vignettes like I would be be taken around and I'd go boom I'm with uh, all these amazing uh, wrestlers then I'm over here and then the people in the office are saying let's do this with them let's do that uh, some of it sounds promising, some of it sounds threatening, some of it's like critical and you're trying to process all that and then you're being moved from this location to the other, then you're going to wrestle, you don't know who it is. And so it's just like a whirlwind tour and I remember all that. There's a few experiences in life that could equal what went on before and after the ring. I was going to ask you because there is this kind of long-standing story that Vince McMahon saw you initially as the next Hulk Hogan. Is that something you remember from your interaction? What were your interactions he like with Vince? Told me that. I what, like, did Vince give you any kind of like a, a inclination that that was the case? So the 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 there was a lot of interest in me when I came, uh, and so I felt I was being heavily you know really scrutinized and observed, and then but there was a lot of opinions circulating too about. What, what what to do or what they were going to do and and I'm hearing stuff like that as I'm going through right and um, but when I and when I came out first of all uh, I felt good in myself about what had happened so that was number one but next uh, the conversation about what Vince said I never heard that never heard it and it was never aware of it until decades later I mean, for you, what led you to walking away from wrestling? Because you said you only did it for a brief period of time, five years. Um, do you have any regrets that you walked away from it? Do you wish you'd stuck at it longer? Or like, how do you feel about wrestling now, looking back? Um, of course, I would have liked to have... Uh, I did wrestle for five years. And, um, of course, I would have liked to have risen to the expectation of what people uh, thought or what Vince... Uh, thought was possible for me and had matches with the top guys and been very successful. Everybody would like to do more for their parents. My dad is dead now. I wish I would have been able to been more successful that I could have done more for him. And, and then to have had these incredible matches with the other top uh, wrestlers. But I did have a wrestling career and I enjoyed it and it was really interesting. Um, and so, uh, you know, it's all outcomes are not the same, I'm not suggesting that. But life is amazing no matter what happens to you. And just to have consciousness and be alive. And I really in, enjoyed the journey that I have been on. Well, very last thing, what's your favorite memory of Vince McMahon or any interactions with Vince? I found Vince a very inspirational, super positive, just in super energy, vision, positive, and exemplar of uh, what he says. I, th I thought that Vince um, would ask a lot of people, but I, I really believe that Vince would never ask anyone to do something he wouldn't do himself. And he, had a, he set a very high standard of conduct in terms of um, showing up and, and um, you know, with an A game all the time. Thanks very much.